Roasted red pepper coulis. Pan roasted snapper with crunchy vegetables. Aubergine caviar. And a light, slightly spicy radish mousse. Let's begin. So we're going to prepare our pepper for roasting. A little bit of neutral oil and in the oven at the hottest setting. Cut one aubergine in half. Score the flesh without cutting through the skin. Olive oil, a little bit of salt, and in the oven at the same temperature as the pepper. So the pepper should be done first in about 10 minutes or so. So once the pepper is cooked and there's a little bit of color, remove it from the oven and use a spoon to make a hole. Keep your hand away from the escaping steam. And then use the spoon to cut around the soft flesh. Remove the seeds and transfer the contents to a mixing container or a blender. Add an equal amount of neutral oil, a tiny bit of salt, and blend until smooth. A few minutes later and our aubergine should be ready. So we want a little bit of color, just like this. It's important that the flesh is cooked, and with a spoon, scoop out all the flesh and transfer to a mixing container or a blender. So we're going to repeat the process that we did with the red pepper, add an equal amount of neutral oil, although the texture of this will be much thicker, almost like a mayonnaise. Season, blend until smooth, put aside. And now we're going to make our radish mousse. So we're going to start with some whole milk, some cubed radish, preferably more on the peppery side. Cook on low heat for about 10-15 minutes and blend. So we're more or less making radish flavored cappuccino foam. Blend well, pass through a sieve into a smaller container, adjust the seasoning, and when the mousse is warm, it will foam up really nice like this. But take note that if it's cold or too hot, the recipe won't work. So now we're going to cook our fish, warm pan, neutral oil. We're going to take our filet of snapper, skinless, seasoned, and we're going to cook it gently in the pan. So for a piece this size, after about three minutes, we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil. We're going to turn down the heat and we're going to baste. We want very gentle cooking. We want to keep in the moisture of the fish. When the fish is cooked, transfer to a plate. And using a spatula, we're going to spread the aubergine caviar neatly all over the top of the fish. We don't want it to go down the sides. We just want to keep it on the top, just like this. So now we're going to arrange our vegetables. So we just have some radish coins, some baby gem lettuce, some radicchio, and we've used a cutter to make them all the same size. They almost look like scales. Finish with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on top, and now we're ready to plate. So we're going to start with the red pepper coulis. The temperature is important. You want to warm up the coulis, but you don't want it too hot because the oil will separate from the pepper. This consistency is nice. So we're just gonna put a few dollops on the plate like this. We're gonna leave a little bit of room for the fish in the center. Now we're going to pick up the plate and give it a light tap on the bottom. We'll get rid of any air bubbles in the coulis and they're all the same height now. So now we're gonna transfer our fish and vegetables onto our main plate here. Next, we're going to take our aubergine caviar and just put a nice, clean dollop right about here. And at the very last moment, we're going to warm up our mousse. Remember, we don't want it too hot and we don't want it to be cold. And we want to try and skim the bubbles off the top. We don't want any of the liquid at the bottom. Just a couple more dollops of the mousse and we're ready to serve. A lot of the preparation could be done ahead of time. The ingredients are pretty basic and the techniques are fairly simple, but we use them all together at once and we've made something quite elegant. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you enjoy our content, consider supporting us on Patreon. Happy cooking.